know about the interaction between light and matter. So light is made of photons, right? particles that have uh, energy associated with them, and we talked about how blue light is more energetic, photons that are blue have more energy than photons that are red. Now, if you think about an atom, let's think about uh, the simplest atom there is, an atom of uh, hydrogen is simply a proton and an electron orbiting that proton. So I'm going to pretend that I'm an electron living in an atom of hydrogen, so I'm the only electron in there. So I'm the electron, and there is a, a proton in, in there that you can't see. And at this moment here, I'm in ground state. I have which means that I have the least amount of energy that I can possibly have. So that's the minimum uh, amount of energy. This is, here is the ground state. Now, electrons are not allowed a, a, to transition into higher energy levels as they wish. There are only certain transition levels that are allowed, and that's what we want to demonstrate here. Okay? So, I can't go from this um, ground state to here or to here. I need to go into certain very specific energy levels. So either I am an electron here at the ground state, or I am an electron here at this state and at this point. And, and, and right now I have this amount of energy. You know, I need to have more energy to be here, more energy than I had there. So the equivalent of a green photon or up there in the blue. But I can't be in between. So let's, let's, let's do this. Here I am in ground state, lowest energy level of all. And I got a green photon. I can get excited with the green photon. And I can get to the green energy level. Here I am excited with the green energy level. And what I can do with it? Well, I'll be here in this excited level for a little bit. But then I'll just. Get rid of it. We made it. And if I do that, then I don't have that energy anymore. I have to come back to my ground state. So here I am, no energy again. All right. Uh, and then I got another green. Oops. So back there, here I am. All excited again. All excited again. Let's see what's going to come my way now. Oh, don't like yellow. There's nothing I do with yellow problems. Oh, no. Orange doesn't work for me. I have nothing to do with orange potents. Um, I'll just I'll just go back to my ground state. I emitted my green photon, here I am back at my ground state. Let's see what comes my way. I got a blue photon now. Okay, so this is even higher higher energy, more energy than the green. So here I am at this high uh, energy level with this amount of energy, equivalent of a blue photon. And what can I do with it? Well, I'll go back to my ground state. Go back to my ground state. And I stay here. And, oops, another blue photon. Oh, there I go again. So again, I'm here at my excited level again, blue. But, you know, blue has a lot of energy. And I can kind of make change and say that the amount of energy that is in the blue would be equal the amount of energy in the green and in the red photon. So it's the same energy, but instead of blue, I, I'd rather have a green and a red, okay? This way, what I'm allowed to do is, I will emit the, green, the red and come back to the green energy level. I still have some energy, I'm still excited. Not as much as I was before, I emitted the red. What can I do now? I'll just hang around here in the green. I like the green. There's something coming. Oh, this is a very energetic photon, okay? This is ultraviolet. It's actually incredible that you can see it because it should be invisible. With this amount of energy, I can get ionized and leave this atom of hydrogen. I'm free from the atoms. 